In this video, I give you 10 spring activities to check out in San Diego, next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series. Today we're going to talk about 10 spring activities you can do around San Diego in 2022. Right behind me is the beautiful Carlsbad Flower Fields, which is the first spot on the list. And the Carlsbad Flower Fields is amazing. I think it's in bloom until the middle of May. I think it's almost like around towards Mother's Day. Perfect place to take your mom. Perfect place to take the family. You can only buy these tickets online, by the way. $25 for adults and about $13, $14 for kids and seniors. Now, if you're a local, you can get a season pass for only about $20 more. So I think it's about 45 bucks, 50 bucks for a season pass. And I know a lot of people that live nearby, they go here and sometimes run around the flower fields and just enjoy a nice peaceful stroll around these beautiful ranunculus and various flowers around Carlsbad. Now, if you wanna see my video on that, I'll have it linked at the end of this video. But stay tuned till the end and find out some brand new stuff you can check out here in San Diego because this has been around for a while. The next place on the list for spring activities to do here in San Diego is the San Diego Botanic Garden here in the Encinitas area. In this entire area, there are a ton of nurseries and plant buying you can do over here if you're a big fan of succulents. There's places that sell succulents. There's a bunch of gardens and pathways inside the San Diego Botanic Garden. Perfect place to bring the kids and the family on the weekend. Now there is an admission fee. I'll link the website down below. But if you're in Encinitas, you can make a whole day out of it. Head over to Moonlight State Beach after, check out the sunset, grab some food off the old highway, and just enjoy the spring weather here in San Diego. Another place that is about to open up is Sesame Place down in Otay Ranch. And Sesame Place is perfect for the kids that love Sesame Street. Has all your favorite characters like Big Bird, Elmo, Ernie, and Bert. And it's opening in the third week of March, which is coming up real soon. So go grab your tickets. It's all the way down in Otay Ranch. You'll enjoy your time with the kids over at Sesame Place, San Diego's newest amusement park. The next thing to do in the spring here in San Diego are to check out all the various farmer's markets. Now, most of the beach cities here in San Diego have farmer's markets once a week and a few other neighborhoods. I know you have Locadia over here that have their Sunday farmer's market in Encinitas. I know there's other farmer's markets in San Diego like Ocean Beach, Pacific Beach on Thursdays. I think Ocean Beach is on Wednesdays. I'll find a website that has a list of all the farmer's markets around San Diego, but also North Park. If you wanna check out some fresh produce, some organic food, Foods, local small businesses here in San Diego, check out the farmer's markets. All right, Jaycationers, are you finding value so far in this video? I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Are there any other spring activities that you have to recommend? Also consider subscribing as I have a ton of San Diego, Las Vegas, and world content. And now back to the video for 10 things to do in the spring in San Diego. It's March in San Diego and the days are getting longer. We're about to spring forward another hour and we're just gonna have so much more daylight. What best to do here in San Diego than to go on a hike. And there are plenty of places to go on a hike here in San Diego. We have the Torrey Pine State Reserve south of me here in Encinitas. We're at Moonlight State Beach right now. And when it's lower tides, you can walk all the way towards Lucadia and Carlsbad. We have other hiking trails that are East County, San Diego. You got Iron Mountain. You also got Potato Chip Rock near Lake Poway that you can hike around. You can also go around Miramar Lake, Mount Helix. There's a lot of hiking around San Diego. And just below me in my canyon, Rancho Penasquitos Canyon Reserve, you can go down and hike towards a beautiful waterfall and stream in that area. Hiking in San Diego in the spring, it's the perfect time. I definitely recommend it. Another great thing to check out here in San Diego in the springtime is Westfield UTC. It's a revamped and remodeled mall around the University City and La Jolla area. And there are just a ton of new restaurants and spots opening up around UTC. They're still expanding. I saw that there's gonna be a Menia Ultra, a Somi Somi, and a Pacific Catch Grill. 
So you guys want to check that out. It's where the Sears used to be. So the Sears is now going to become an Equinox and a bunch of other restaurants. UTC is just an awesome place to go to, especially on a Friday or the weekend. They have playgrounds for kids there, a lot of activities you can check out. They also have other gyms like 24 hour fitness there. Another thing to check out is to go on San Diego Bay and get on a boat. Whether it's a sailboat, a whale watching cruise, or a horn blower dinner cruise, you're gonna have a great time on San Diego Bay. You could even get a stand up paddle board and get around that area, a kayak, or even maybe a jet ski. Those would be really cool ideas to do around Coronado, or around San Diego Bay, Mission Bay. It's just the perfect time of year to do it. There's even a hot tub boat over in the Mission Bay area you can check out. Now, if you guys wanna see me do a video about San Diego water sports on the water, comment down below. Maybe I'll do that eventually, but San Diego Bay, it's the perfect time of year to go there, get on a boat, maybe get on a sailboat and do a sunset cruise with your loved ones or family, and it should be a great time. You can also cruise around the Embarcadero, check out the USS Midway, check out the Maritime Museum, and check out all the new establishments like the Intercontinental with Seneca Trattoria and Anime just across the street from the Embarcadero and Embarcadero Park. The next spring activity to do here in San Diego is to check out the bioluminescence in the La Jolla area overlooking the ocean. At night, you'll see a mixture of chemicals and living organisms in the water make the waves crashing in to the beach look neon blue if you want to see it with your naked eyes sometimes you'll see it sometimes you won't it really depends on the chemicals within the water i don't know how long it lasts for but you might get lucky and see it the next spring activity is to check out the japanese friendship garden over at balboa park now if you want to see some amazing pink cherry blossom trees a lot of other flowers blooming and beautiful koi ponds and have a lot of serenity there's certain days where it's free for locals here in san diego the final activity you can do in the springtime here in San Diego is check out San Diego's newest food halls. Now right behind me is the Windmill Food Hall. We've covered this a couple of times on Jaycation. We'll link that down below as well. But there are two new food halls that are now open around San Diego. The first one is Market on 8th at National City. They have Filipino cuisine, Indonesian cuisine, they have ramen. The other place is over in Old Town, the Old Town Urban Market. I have yet to go there but there are beautiful murals up front on the side of it. There are some Mexican eateries over there and it's a really cool under the radar spot in a tourist area. So make sure you check out the new food halls opening around here in San Diego. All right, Jaycationers, so that will do it here for top things to do in the spring in San Diego. I hope you enjoyed the 10 things that I presented. If there's more to do, like festivals and something I missed out on, please comment that below. We'd like to know here in our growing community of San Diego lovers and Jaycationers. And if you like this video, it really helped distribute it throughout YouTube if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to consider subscribing Subscribing to Jaycation, I have a ton of San Diego. We're going back to Las Vegas next week, so stay tuned for a Las Vegas series in the spring. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to support me even more in 2022, I have a Patreon, PayPal, and a Teespring. They're all linked down below. And if you want to join, it's always sunny in San Diego. It's full of San Diego lovers, 4,200 people deep, talking about the latest travel, tips, and news around San Diego County. All right, Jaycationers. Have an amazing spring. Happy St. Paddy's Day. Happy Easter. And we'll see you in the next one. And in the words of Jaycation, stay traveling. San Diego. If you want to see an in-depth video on the Carlsbad flower fields, check it out right here. And if you want to watch my San Diego playlist, click over this side. See you there.